I'm tired of the fake outrage that people are exuding about Milo Yiannopoulos being terminated from Twitter. Tired of it. Because most of you who are complaining so much about this have no problem with a business firing someone for stating their opinion either at work or stating their opinion somewhere on social media and the business hears about what they had said and they fire them. Okay, Most of y'all have no problem with that. But then equate when, you know, Twitter does this is, that's a violation of my, my First Amendment rights. No, it isn't. And Milo clearly violated these things. And Twitter's terms of service is much more clearly written than YouTube's terms of service. Let us... Make no mistake about it. When someone has hundreds and thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers on a platform such as Twitter, then anything that person says is going to be far-reaching. Some people will say, well, they don't have control over their, over their followers. You don't have actual control of them, but you have to be more responsible for the things that you say when you have that many followers. If, I mean, look how Rush Limbaugh is looked at when he says things that are a tenth as nasty as some of the stuff that Milo has said. Look what happens to him. Look what happened to someone because they said that someone had uh, uh, nappy hair. Up, oh, you gotta be fired for saying nappy hair. And yet people can go on to Twitter, say the foulest things, and then have all of your sycophants go and harass, not all of them, but a pretty, a large number of sycophants go and harass someone. And you're going to say that the person who made those initial comments uh, has it, it has nothing to do with what they said? That is insanity. It's just as much of, of insanity as people who try to deny uh, crime statistics in relation to demographics. Just as insane as people who try to deny suicide rates between the sexes. Okay, it's fucked up. Leslie Jones should not have had to deal with this shit. You can say, oh, she, she, she should have a thicker skin. Really? Why is there nothing, nothing by any people that are complaining about Milo being terminated? Why are none of you complaining about how foul some of this shit is? I mean, as this article shows, um, and I've seen some of the tweets, um... Numerous posts included images of gorillas, racial slurs, and references to slavery days. There were slurs about her weight and a suggestion that she was responsible for AIDS. That's not criticizing the Ghostbusters movie. It's misogyny, it's racism, it's foul. Oh, well, they're just trolling. How far are some of you going to take that concept? When should the line be drawn? Or there should be no line. And we should be far, far, far worse 
than an elementary school playground with bullies. We should be far worse than that because that's what being an adult is, is being worse than children. Worse than children who have never been told no. Okay, there is shit on both ends of this. The SJWs out there need to be told no. Some of the feminists out there need to be told no. And these bullies and harassers need to be told no. No needs to be said. And guess what? No means no. How about that? Too much for you? You going to consider that a violation of your First Amendment rights? Because on a private company's website, uh, they're not allowing you to say things that go against their terms of service? Now, if you take the position that businesses should not be able to fire people over things that they've said that aren't related to the job, you know, if you take the, that position, then fine, you have some consistency when you say that, that it's, it's wrong that Milo was terminated from Twitter. Okay, You have some consistency. But if you don't, you're inconsistent, your viewpoint is invalid, and you're a piece of shit. Thanks.